Do we have everything? Are we ready for the beach or are we forgetting something? Hey guys, welcome to Lock with Leilani. I definitely want to come on to show you guys a few of the things that I take to the beach. These are some of the items that we take when we go to the beach. Just like a quick visit. We're not going to barbecue or anything like that. But these are some of the items that I have. So I have to pick up a new beach tote because a lot of my stuff is in my storage from us doing like a carpet installation probably about... Ooh, it's been about eight or nine months ago now, so I still have some things I need to get out of my storage. But this bag right here was $9.99 from Home Goods, and it just says beach on it and like different little pieces of materials. Really, really cute. And then it has the thick um, rope handle, very beach kind of beach esque and you know, kind of nautical. But then the material is canvas. So what I have here is just a couple towels for us, just different colors, different ones for us to kind of, you know, dry off our legs, dry off our feet and stuff like that. My daughter might get in a little bit more in the water. We'll see. But I have those and then I'm going to grab a couple beach chairs, a couple bottles of water and also um, this blanket right here to be able to sit on for, you know, those that might want to sit a little bit. Also, I have a pack of wet ones here that I'm going to take to the beach. I have some copper tone um, sunscreen. A couple flip-flops from Dollar Tree. I'm not real crazy about those. They're not the greatest quality, but they're good to have in your trunk. And even like throughout the summer and stuff, maybe have a, a beach tote in your trunk that's ready to go at all times. I used to be like that when I used to live in Orange County. We live here in Southern California. When I used to live in Orange County, we always had a beach bag that was ready to go. I always made sure we had stuff in there because we went to the beach pretty often. Now that we live in a different area, we don't go to the beach as often. And I'm really excited about going today. Here in the city I live in, it's like 83 degrees is set to be today, but in Orange County, it's supposed to be like 71 or 72, so we will see. But I just wanted to come on and show you guys some of the things that I do take when I pack my bag. I was able to go to Dollar Tree like a month ago. They had a bunch of these sand buckets, these cute little sand shake ones. I, was, I think it was like a blue one, a yellow one, a pink one, and a green one. So I picked up the blue one and the yellow one for me and my daughter, and then I have the larger shovel, which is kind of like a fun toy shovel. These particular sandcastle ones did not come with a shovel. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. They should have because of obviously when you have a sand bucket or a sand pail, you definitely need a shovel. So where is the shovel? I don't know Dollar Tree, but that was just definitely a, a miss for me. I don't know what, what that's all about. But anyways, I have other buckets in the garage that I can just probably grab a shovel from a smaller one. You know, for my daughter, she wants to use a smaller shovel, which I think is needed for that size. Um, the other thing I have here is the beach, please. This is like a little wristlet that I found at Dollar Tree yesterday and I picked that up. I'm not sure what I want to put in here. This is perfect though for like, you know, a small thing of sunscreen. I do pick up the black girl sunscreen from Target. It works really well. It's nice to have in your purse. Just throw it on when you need it. Put a little on your face, little your neck, your arm. It's really, really good. It's good quality, but I'm just going to probably put a little bit of this on this copper tone if it is warm enough. Um, also for the beach, I don't plan on getting all the way in, but I'm definitely gonna be like getting my legs wet and stuff like that. So I will probably just like, I don't know, I think my skirt's gonna get wet though, cause I have a skirt on today. So that's kind of a setup for failure, right? Cause <laughs> having a skirt on, a long skirt that goes all the way to the ground and you're going to the beach, that's kind of like a little bit crazy. So I'm thinking I'm probably, I have some, uh, some yoga pants upstairs, the ones that stop at your knees. I think I'm going to grab those and then I can slip those on before we go to the beach. And then that way I can put my skirt back on afterwards. So that sounds like a plan. I think I'm going to do that. But anyways, I just want to share some things with you guys that I actually take to the beach. I also um, take a couple of the freezer bags. This is what we use to put our seashells in because you just never know sand and the dirt and the grime and all that stuff. And then, of course, we take a lot of change because in Orange County, you park along the street. If you don't go inside the parking lot to be there for a long time, we usually go to the beach for about 45 minutes to an hour maybe two hours at the most if we can get that out of my husband because he typically is not real crazy about the beach. Um, and then my son will be like, he's ready to go because, you know, he's a young adult, but he will kind of get in the water with us and play. But my daughter is definitely a mermaid at heart. She loves to be in the water. She loves to play in the water a long time. And then I'll be like the last one to be like, okay, we've been here 30, 45 minutes. Let's go. So we definitely are due a visit to the beach to just be like in the sand, just having a good old time. That will be coming hopefully this summer. We could do like one whole beach day where they're like in the morning time with the fire pit all day, doing s'mores, making food, taking naps, just having a good time at the beach because there's nothing better than taking a nap at the beach. But anyways, just wanted to share with you guys these things once again. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day. And I will be sharing our visit at the beach. I don't know how long <laughs> the coverage is going to be past this, but this is the start of it. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful day and come along with us on our 
beach adventure. Okay, guys, so loaded up everything in the garage, um, inside the car. We're in the garage, putting everything inside the car, I should say. So this is one of the um, sand buckets that I picked up from Dollar Tree last year. They come with, like, this is a bright pink one with, like, a fluorescent green shovel. And then I had an orange one with the blue shovel, but we don't need the orange one. So I just took the blue shovel off to go in here. And then we have the gigantic one. I don't know if my daughter's going to want that one or not. But, yeah, so we have everything. I just had my husband put the chairs in here. So we have this blue one, this red one, which is perfect for uh, for 4th of July, which is coming up. Only a few weeks away, and here's the beach bag. So, yeah, so everything is good to go. So, we are ready to head out. We're going to grab some lunch. I'm going to show you guys that. Um, and then we're going to go to the beach afterwards and then dinner later. So, yeah, having like an early celebration before Father's Day. And uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but I have so many other videos ahead of this one, but it's coming soon. And this is the Saturday before Father's Day. So today is actually the 17th of June. We are going into, we're in the Long Beach area. So we are going to get some food uh, and then we will be heading to the beach after that. I have on my top that I bought at Marshall's a week or two ago, a couple weeks ago. So there's Carlos in the video, say hello. And that is pretty much it. So we are on our way to get some food. Kids are in the back. So lunchtime for us. Okay, so we're actually about to walk into Earl of Sandwich here in Long Beach. So we're about to get some lunch. of the 